is Mental Hygiene Law Article 9. As used in this article, the need of care and treatment means that a person has a mental illness for which inpatient care and treatment in a hospital is appropriate. In need of care and treatment means that a person has a mental illness for which inpatient care and treatment in a hospital is appropriate. Two, in need of involuntary care and treatment means that a person has a mental illness for which care and treatment as a patient in a hospital is essential to such person's welfare and whose judgment is so impaired that he is un unable to understand the need for such care and treatment. In need of involuntary care and treatment means that a person has a mental illness for which care and treatment as a patient in a hospital is essential to such person's welfare and whose judgment is so impaired that he is unable to understand the need for such care and treatment. Three, likelihood to result in serious harm or likely to result in serious harm means one, a substantial risk of physical harm to the person as manifested by threats of or attempts at suicide or serious bodily harm or other conduct demonstrating that the person is dangerous to himself or herself or two, a substantial risk of physical harm to other person as manifested by homicidal or other violent behavior for which others are placed in reasonable fear of serious physical harm. Four, need for retention means that a person who has been admitted to a hospital pursuant to this article is in need of involuntary care and treatment in a hospital for a further period. Four, need for retention means that a person who has been admitted to a hospital pursuant to this article is in need of involuntary care and treatment in a hospital for a further period. Five, record of a patient shall consist of one, admissions, two, transfer or retention papers and orders is three, and four, accompanying data required by this article and by the regulation of the commission. So the record of a patient shall consist of four things and it is admission, two transfer or retention papers, three orders, and four accompanying data. Six, director of community services means the director of community services for the mentally disabled appointed pursuant to article 41 of this chapter. Eight, qualified psychiatrist means a physician licensed to practice medicine in New York State who, one, is a diplomat of the American Board of Psychiatry and Neurology or is eligible to be certified by that board or B is certified by the American Osteopathic Board of Neurology and Psychiatry or is eligible to be certified by the board. Mental Hygiene Law Article 9.05 Examining Physicians and Medical Certificates A. A person is disqualified A person is disqualified from acting as an examining physician in the following cases. One, he's a relative of the person applying for the admission or of the person alleged to be mentally ill. Two, if he is a manager, trustee, visitor, proprietor, officer, director, or stockholder of the hospital in which the patient is hospitalized or to which it is proposed to admit such person, except as otherwise provided in this chapter, or if he has any pecuniary interest. We can look up that up in the dictionary. I don't even know what it means. Directly or indirectly in such hospital. Three, he is on the staff of a proprietary facility to which it is proposed to admit such person. B, a certificate as required by this article must, must, must show that one, the person is mentally ill, and two, 
shall be based on an examination of the person alleged to be mentally ill made within 10 days prior to the date of admission. Again, a certificate as required by this article must show that the person is mentally ill and shall be based on an examination of the person alleged to be mentally ill made within 10 days prior to the date of the admission. 10 days prior to the date of the admission. The date of the certificate shall be the date of such examination. The date of the certificate shall be the date of such examination. All certificates shall contain the facts and circumstances upon which the judgment of the physicians is based and shall show that the condition of the person examined is such that he needs involuntary care and treatment in a hospital and such other information as the commissioner may be regulation required. Okay. Mental Hygiene Law Article 9.07 Notice to all patients of their rights of the availability of the mental hygiene legal services. I guess this is like legal aid for mentally ill people. I'm guessing. Okay. A. Immediately upon the admission of any patient to a hospital or upon his conversion to a different status, the director shall inform the patient in writing, in writing, of his status, including the section of this chapter under which he is hospitalized and of his right under this article, including the availability of the mental hygiene legal services. At any time thereafter, upon the request of the patient or of anyone on the patient's behalf, the patient shall be permitted to communicate with the mental hygiene legal services and avail himself of the facilities thereof. B. The director of every hospital shall post copies of a notice in a form and manner to be determined by the commissioner at places throughout the hospital where, the no where such notice will be conspicuous and visible to all patients stating the following. 1. The availability of mental hygiene legal services. 2. A general statement of the rights of patients under the various admission or retention provision of this article. And 3. The right of the patient to communicate with the director, the board of visitors, the commissioner of mental health, and the mental hygiene legal services.